Those of you who don't know, my name is Michael Forrest, and welcome to It's Shark Time. Now, before we get going, just a quick note about text messaging. I don't think those will say it's a great wall, but all text, they can really throw away. So I have those turned off, and I won't be able to answer any text messages until after the event is over. But if you do need to get a hold of us, really, the very best way is by joining our Discord, and you'll find the address right here on this beam below me. All right, now, I've hosted over 750 events in all space, and you know what? That's a lot. It really is. And the question I get asked every single day is, why are we here? I hear it all the time. You know, what is this about? What are we doing? Why are we here? And I thought it would be really cool to you know, open up this event by asking uh, everybody that same question. Now, the answer, if this is your first time, the answer is right down here. It's these three wonderful words that say it all right here, right below my podium. The words that say everything. It's the beginning and the ending of why we gather here every week. All right, so tell me, everybody, why are we here? Let's hear it. Feed a shark. It was pretty good. Small crowd, but nice and enthusiastic. Yeah, chant it. To feed a shark. Now, in order to feed a shark, we've got my friends right here to help us. We've got Melvin, we've got Buster, and we've got Fang. And these are my friends. And, you know, and you know, when they first started came coming into all space, they weren't looking so good. They were wasting away to nothing. Right, they were getting all you know, all thin, and they were hungry all the time. I didn't know what to do, so out of absolute desperation, I became an all space event host. And we started having, we started out pretty good. We started having hundreds of people coming out, you know, through our events and experiences, but nobody was willing to help me feed a shark. All right, so I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. And then one day, an admin gave me a piece of advice that changed my life forever. They told me that all space user would do absolutely anything for a world building kit because it's not enough for you guys to, you know, for me to expect you to help me save the world one shark at a time. No, you need is some motivation. And we have that here for you today. We're giving away 12 piece world building kit. Now, it's a, it starts out with an empty aquarium. We usually have it on display over here, but we're having some technical problems I'm about to discuss with you. Uh, but, you, were, you know, we, uh, it's, it's a third, it's 12 piece kit. And it has kind of an aquarium theme. It has sound effects and animations in it. It's really awesome. Uh, and if you'd like a chance to win yours today, all you have to do is be a volunteer on today's show. And the way that's going to work is you're going to see on your lower right, you're going to see a raise hand button appear as if by magic. So if you'd like a chance to win, just go ahead and press that raise hand button to get you on the list. All right. And while we wait for that to fill up, uh, if you'll notice your microphone uh, icon in the lower left there at the very top of your menu wheel, when that microphone is open, we're able to hear everything that's happening in your environment. We think that's great because we like being able to hear you laugh. We like being able to interact with you, we like, you know, have all that going on during the show. But if you happen to notice your microphone gets turned to red, that might mean you have some background noise or maybe you're having a conversation that's better suited for the campfire. If that should happen, uh, don't feel like you can't participate. You're going to notice that you have this pink cheek smiley face in your menu wheel. You can use that too to express yourself. It gives you a wide variety of options to choose from but if i could i'd like to reserve this one because it's a giant hand sticking out of your head and come on it's more distracting than that right? it was invented by an evil admin in a dark basement but it's very effective right and it really works uh, we're going to use this as a way to let me know like let's say my voice starts cracking i'm going to want to know that let's uh, you know say sharky starts you know doing a wise cracks behind my back like he does sometimes i don't want to know that if you see like you know the ceiling starts cracking i'm definitely going to want to know that and if you see actual cracking well i'm definitely going to want to know that too because we're going to need to get out of here if that happens all right so you guys get the idea you're going to use that way to signal me if there's a problem all right and uh and let's see oh yeah and another thing is uh if you've never been here before all right let me, just a quick word about tonight's performance and even if you have been here before um, we're experiencing some technical problems with the program that we use that manages our special effects. Normally during the show, we have moving bridges. We have the sharks here. They move. We have these platforms up here that they move to. And we have like, you know, music going and all this kind of stuff. A lot of, a lot of special effects that we do. And our show, our show kind of relies on that. But uh, unfortunately, Allspace didn't update. And it's, uh, you know, it's basically robbed us of our ability to use this. All right, and I've written a support, and we're looking to, to get the help. But unfortunately, the way All, All Space prioritizes these things is a lot of people have to ask for it. Well, that's where I'm counting on all of you. If you could all go to allvr.com, at the very bottom where it says support, this will allow you to op open up a support ticket. And all you have to do is tell them that you're fans of the show, you love the show, you like the show, and please help Michael Forrest restore his game. 
Right? That's all you got to do. And they're going to send you back a form letter that they made just for me. Right? They did. I'm, I'm honored and I'm touched. <laughs> they, made, they made this form letter. And this form letter is going to tell you, you know, uh, you know it's going to be like this form letter here. Right? And what that's going to do is that's going to actually close the ticket. Right? And then that's basically going to rob it of its effectiveness. And it's kind of funny because of the same amount of time it took to make that form letter, they could just easily ask and one of the developers to give me some of the time that I've given them over the years, right? So listen, if you get one of these form letters, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to keep the conversation going. I want you to reply to it. It doesn't matter what you say, right? You could ask, how are you doing today? Right? Uh, you know, and if you get something back, right? You could maybe answer them going, you know, and, and like, how come you didn't ask me how I was? And that would have been nice. What's the weather like where you are? That's a good one too, right? Just keep that conversation going, have fun with it. All right, we just need to make them understand that this is important and we need to get this fixed, right? So I appreciate all of your help. A lot of you have already done this and I'm very grateful to you for doing it. Uh, you know, and that's really you know, gonna help us get this restored as fast as possible. But in the meantime, we're a firm believer in the show must go on. And besides, sad reality of life, people. Sharks gotta eat. All right, so we're going to keep doing the show uh, the only way we can right now, which is in kind of a manual mode. We've used this before when we've had problems. Oh, let's see, there's five people on the list already. Hey, Mr. Melvin and Fang, would you guys like to hear tonight's specials? All right, let's have a look at our menu and see who wants to come up. All right, so we can play our game here. All right, let's see. We have, uh, let's see, all right, we have Michael V. I got it right this time. All right, we also have Serena. All right. Apparently, I'm on the list. I'm not sure why I'm on the list, but okay. You know, I can't call myself. That would be really weird. All right. Oh, we also have Black Sands. All right. Cool. Excellent. Now, if you guys have ever been to open mic night, you guys know that you know Black Sands is a very talented singer. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to have, uh, if I've called your name, come on up to the stage. And if you need to recenter, do so now, because if you try to recenter on the stage, you end up back in the audience, and this is just awkward for everybody. How's it going, everybody? You guys are having a good time? You enjoying themselves? Yeah, all right, good. All right, excellent. That's good news. All right, let's get up here. Listen, Michael, I gotta tell you something, man. This spring doesn't work in all space. This doesn't. All right, let's start out with you, Michael. Uh, well, I don't know. I heard you whispering, so I answered back. All right, you've been on the show before, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, and 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 how did it turn out? Did you win? How did it turn out? Uh, that's an excellent question. It's, well, did, um, did you remember winning? Did you get the prize kit and all that? I didn't even check. I don't know how to world world build. Okay, yet. so you're not sure if you won, but you've been on the show. You know that much. That's not what I meant, but okay. Okay, well, did you win? I'm asking you if you won the show. Oh, yeah, 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 been on the show yeah, before. Yeah. You did, so show. You, you're a returning champion. All right, that's good. Well, then you yeah, probably have the kit in your inventory. That's good. All right. See, Black Sands, this is your first time here, right? Yes. How long? Five months. Me too. Five months. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Well, that's good. That's good. And this is your first time here in that yeah. time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I believe okay. so. Excuse this is my me. first time definitely on the show. Excuse me, one, sure. excuse me one second. I'm going to take care of How something. Hang on. Hang on, sure. everybody. Come on, come on. <laughs> What's going on? Oh shit, my bad, brother. Sounds no, what's oh, cool? It what? sounds really. I can hear it from up there, and it sounds really important. I want to see what's happening. Oh no, I was just greeting everybody. Just greeting this is a great nosy. Oh, you're saying what's up? Okay, yeah. well, hey everybody, yeah. welcome to the show. Oh, right, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was listening. All right, well, I'm doing well, okay. Well, we're just saying hi. That's cool. All right, everybody say hi. Everybody wave, wave out to them so they know we can hear them. All right, there we go. Hey, my feet right to the there. Show. That's my feet. Uh, sorry right. about that. Cool. Oh, you brought your friends. That's a good strategy. Excellent. All right, now Serena, have you been on the show before? Yes. Wow. Have you now? Did you come up to the stage, or you've just been here as a guest? Um, no, I've come up to the stage. Buster ate me. Buster ate you, and there's enough left of you to play. And what's gone wrong in your life that would you come back after you after you survived that? Uh, I was ghosted by a boy. Well, ghosted by a boy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? I respect your decision. All right, everybody, come up this <laughs> ramp here. All right. And uh, what you're gonna find is up here we have these yellow X's set up. Everybody, stand on one of these yellow X's here. Right. And, you know, pick out a place where you feel comfortable. All right. I have to ask you before we begin. All right. Do you all agree to this verbally? What? Michael, <laughs> do you agree to play the game? <laughs> Gotta stand on a yellow tribute. X. That's very helpful. <laughs> Michael, do you agree to play the game? 
do I agree to play the game? Yes, I agree to play the game. Excellent. That's legally binding in like 150 countries. How about you, Serena? Do you have your consent? I volunteer as tribute. You volunteer? Oh, that's good news. Block Sands, how about you? Yes, I agree. You agree? Oh, that's wonderful. This is great. You know, people in all space are so nice. This is great. All right. Now, the way this is going to work is your fate rests in the hands of our audience. They have the ability to vote for you. Now, normally we have a voting system, but since we're in manual mode tonight, the way this is going to work is, listen, we need to decide the future of all space here together. In order to do this, we're going to ask our volunteers questions and a chance to get to know them, right? So in order for you to vote, let's say that, uh, let's say that Serena has a fantastic answer. We're very impressed by it. If you want to support Serena, all you have to do is stand anywhere behind this fence right here. So you'll stand over on this side if Serena has a great answer. All right. But let's say that Michael V is a really insightful answer that changes your life. You're like, I never really looked at that. It's amazing. It's going to bring about world peace. Then all you have to do is stand behind this center fence right here to vote for them. So basically, you're going to stand in front of the fence, all right, of the player that you want to support. All right. And then when we you know, close the voting, we'll see you know, who's standing where. And then this is how we're going to determine, you know, who's going to survive. All right. And listen, it, don't worry. The questions don't have to be right. There's no right or wrong answer here. There's only those answers that convince our audience, which of you deserves, you know, to live the most. That's pretty much how we're going to work it. All right. <laughs> and we're going to start out. With, let's start out with you, Serena. Serena, are you ready for your question? I think. You think. All right. Well, that's good. It gives me a chance to adjust. If you need some time to think about it, I can, I can kind of peek at my notes here and see what's going on. All right. Cool. All right. Well, I've got my notes ready. You ready? I'm ready. Yep. You're ready. Okay, cool. All right. Well, listen, as I mentioned, the technical problems we've been having, what I didn't mention was the way this came about was when we make the questions for the show, sometimes we rehearse them. All right. And what happened was we revealed, uh, you know, that there was big, you know, down to uh, penetrates the deepest levels of all space or the highest levels rather is a problem that we call organized crime. And if you look out over there, over those hills, you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right. Those guys have not left for a couple of weeks. It's really strong. No, 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 Courtney, don't pay any attention to them. All right? It just encourages them. Just ignore them. Act like they're not even here. All right. Anyway, so we reveal that, and that's when we started having our technical problems, and I think that that's actually connected, and we're not going to take it lying down. All right, now, if you've been here before, you'll notice that my friends look a little bit different, right? It's because they're in disguise, and Fang thinks these disguises look enough like an orca <laughs> that he can basically go over there Right? And, you know, go deep undercover and figure out, you know, all their secrets and stuff, right? Really, you know, kind of get into the enemy there, you know, and learn all about them. Now, the thing of it is, you know, he says he's got the range to pull it off, but it's a very dangerous mission. Mm -hmm. And I thought maybe we could inspire him, right? So we're going to ask you, Serena, what's the most dangerous thing you've ever done in your life? Um, God, the two. Um... Wait, 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 I gotta ask. Do you feel put on the do you, do you feel put on the spot? Well, I think that's the point, though, right? <laughs> yeah, excellent. Um, so if you do, that's good. Wait, hang on a second. We got some music going on here. I apologize. On, I have no idea sense. why that happened. I do apologize. See, what happened? <laughs> no, no, don't I, apologize. I, I, it's fine. We like music. We miss our music. It was that like a ringtone or something? No, it was just it was my phone. I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't, don't worry about it. It's cool. me. I liked it. It was a good rhythm. I like your ringtone. It's very nice. You know, wow, very serious today. All right, Serena, most dangerous thing you've ever done. Let's hear it. Um, I went cliff jumping in Belize on a cruise. Wow. How how far did you jump? I I don't know, 30, 40 feet. We also stands over there, shark. So... It's like nothing for you. You yeah, look no, in the face of good. danger and you laugh Florida at it. too, so like Sharks and I get along. We're good. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Well, we learned something about Serena today. That's really cool. Wow. Cliff jumping. That's awesome. All right. How about you, Michael? What do you say? The most dangerous thing you've ever done? Well, the most dangerous thing I ever did. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I could really think of two things, but I'd say the most dangerous thing I've ever done was, like, um, when I was younger, like, I always used to get... Uh, these really bad headaches, like migraines and all that. Um, and so, obviously nowadays, you um, if you had a headache, you take uh, aspirin. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Uh, so, anyways, um, apparently aspirin's only for like certain uh, ages. And so, right. when I was younger, I had a headache that was like 
so bad that I tried to take an a- I was like, you know, I'll try to take an aspirin. And of course, uh, well, it not, it's not really meant for little kids. And so, well, uh, well, of course, I didn't take it because, and it's like that. When it got to that point, it's like that was probably dangerous because I don't even know what aspirin does to little kids. Oh wow! Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. So there you go. How about you, Black Sands? What do you think? It's the most dangerous thing you've ever done. <clears throat> I am not a swimmer, and neither mm-hmm. is my best friend. And when Fang we were is like thrilled to hear that. Can I just tell you? <laughs> Fang is thrilled to hear that you're not a swimmer. That's awesome. Okay. I love the name Fang, though. Oh, well, that's and good. So, now he feels a little bad. <laughs> we um, were vacationing in Cancun and fell off our ski dues in the middle of the ocean. And um, wow. I fought my best friend for my life um, in the middle of the ocean. I won. Wow. <laughs> So your best friend's no longer with us? That's terrible. No, no, no. She's still, she's still with us. She's still my best friend yeah, as I well. Know, but, you're like you know. such a good singer, and you sound so nice and so friendly. Now, now we find out today that Black Simmons is a murderer who took out her best friend. That's messed up. Wow, a survivor. You think, you think she's a person. survivor. That's horrible. I am a survivor. That's horrible. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the thing, everybody. We need to make a decision. All right. We got to figure out which of these volunteers we like the best. So I want you to stand in front of the fence. The answer that you like love. the best. All right. Uh, there Show we some go. Love. All right, everybody. Let's see. Do well, it. we got some supporters from Black Sands. That's good. I mean, right. she's hilarious. Let's see, I we got some. Her. We got some. For, <laughs> we got some for Michael. That's good. All right. Now we got people moving over here. Flip jumping. All right. That's good for jumping? some Serena. That's nice. All right. Let's <laughs> on, see. Y'all. We got a lot of Black Sands supporters, and she was smart to bring some of her friends today. That's good. All right. Let's see here. All right, we got some people supporting Michael. All right, that's always. Told you she was like a survivor. That All right, and we got Serena too. Has got some people. All right, Here, you know what on, we're gonna do? We're gonna close our voting dangerous. out. Let's have a look here. All right, let's see. Let's take. Let's let's get a. How does it look from up here? Let's see. All right, let's see. Don't know what to do. Um, yeah, yeah you got to stand behind. Well, Serena thinks some people don't know what to do. You stand behind the fence of the volunteer that you like the best. Anybody not get that? I think they got it, Serena. Yeah. I think they do. No. Serena, I got to ask you, do you have any plans later? Uh, no. Right, and the very most event. important I to question the that we ask here, very first question to ask, we, the most important question we ask is, you know, does anybody know where you are? Very important. I have a kid downstairs waiting for me. You have a kid? <laughs> you people yeah, I got are a kid, monsters. Guys. Oh man, this is terrible. But you know what? Um, so, but nobody like actually, you know, knows where you are like right now, though. I mean, just right? my seven-year-old. Okay, is he the type to press charges? Or she? Uh, I mean, charges? as long as you keep like giving him his video games, he'll be fine. Oh, so keep him in video games and he won't say nothing. Yeah, no. Right, that's fine. good to know. YouTube video games. Well, you're about to meet my friend Melvin. If Mrs. Producer would take care of that for me and give us a good scream on the way out. I'm told that helps. Ah! Oh, there we go. Very nice. Excellent. Well, thanks for playing. Well, good news, everybody. It turns out we have an opening. All right. If you guys want to, if anybody wants a chance to win our prize. And so let's see here. Let's take a look at our menu and see who we have. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We have. We have Christmas one, which I'm kind of reluctant about because of that time that you sent me those texts when I was on stage, but you're the only one on the list. Christmas, are you out there? Uh, Liz, I had oh, a feeling. God. I had a feeling it was going to go that way. All right. Right here. Let's see. Where Where are you? Right here. Okay. Right here. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me ask what? a question. How long have you been around Allspace for? Maybe four weeks, six weeks. More six weeks. Oh, wow. It seems like it was longer than that. All right. Uh, and is, this isn't your first time in the show, obviously, because you were here that time that you were texting uh, me. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever texted you. But I've seen okay, the show well, maybe before. Somebody with the same it. name. That might be possible, too. Oh, an imposter. Well, it him could down. be. It could be. Maybe you were framed. Maybe you were set up. Who knows? Yeah. You have a chance to redeem yourself today. That's good. All right. Oh, good. Let's have you up. All right. I believe. Oh, yeah. We got a spot over Melvin right here. So come on up here, up this Congrats, ramp. Sir. Right, and what I'd like you to do is stand on this yellow X that we have at the top. And before we get going, I got to ask you one very important question. Right, you consent to this? Sure. You do. Awesome. That's what you do to understand it. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Ian Cole. Oh no. Uh, Mrs. Producer, has there been a technical malfunction? It was a technical malfunction. 
Absolutely. All right, I think there might be enough of them left to play. Christmas, we'll have you come on. How much for here. that message, huh? All right, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm missing my well, legs good, now. It's a good thing I asked about the consent <laughs> thing first. Yeah, I don't think any of us have the legs, but yeah, it's a good, you know, it's a good observation there. <laughs> All right, well, before you step on the platform, let's make sure we have this resolved. Hey. Mr. Producer, is uh, everything okay here with this? Only one way to find out. All right, I'll test it myself. Oh, it looks solid. All right, good. All right, so step on that yellow X if you would. All right, there you go. I was a little nervous about doing that, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, so all right. I. There we go. All right. Now, so, all right, so you've consented. We're all ready to go. All right, so let's begin our second round, everybody. All right, now this time, let's start out with Max Sands. Are you ready for your question? I am. Awesome. All right, cool. Let's see here. All right, now, uh, the worst has happened, and you find yourself in a life raft or a lifeboat, rather, and you're just trying to survive. Now, uh, you know, now, now we're trying to, all the food, or, food and water is long gone, and you're about to give up when a massive humpback whale comes to the surface, right? And it just so happens that this giant, massive humpback whale is actually speaking English. You talk for about an hour, it's really weird, and then, you know, it goes down below the water again, and by the next day, you're wondering if you've imagined the, the whole thing. When suddenly that same humpback whale appears, breaks the surface, giant of animal, and it's got food and it's got water and it gives it to you, and you have another conversation for about an hour. And this goes on for an entire month until finally you're arrested, re you know, rescued by a passing freighter. Right? And the captain wants to know, how did you survive? What do you say? God help me. Okay, well, that's a good answer. I like that. You're not lying. You're telling me. All right, that's good. All right, Michael, how about you? What do you say? Can you repeat the question one more time? The entire thing? Oh, no. Well, no, no, well, no. I heard, the the audience, question, I heard so. somebody go, oh, hell no. That was good. What I, I like think, that. You know what? what Whoever said that, I just got to say thank you. What would you thank say? Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Well, right. Now, I think, okay. I think... okay, okay, okay. I got you. You're good. You're good there. Uh, you're All right, okay, I'm good. So... Okay. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, it's just it. that you kept cutting out, so like I. Really okay. The whole... If you like, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. All right, I'll summarize it for you. Oh, We're in a lifeboat. Oh, right, you're out oh, of food and water, oh, and, a, and a whale comes oh. up, starts talking to you in English, right? And uh, you know, you're, you're wondering by the next day if you imagine the whole thing, right? When suddenly that whale appears again, big whale, humpback whale, and this time it's got food and water for you. You guys are talking. You know, you become fast friends for, and for a month later, this goes on for a while. You get rescued by a passing freighter. And the ship captain asks you, you know, how did you survive? What do you say? What did I say? What would you say, yes? Oh, what would I say? Sorry about that. Um, I would say that, for one, um, I had state farm insurance. That's probably my I top see. one. Hmm. And I realize they don't sponsor um, us, though. We're probably going to have to edit that out. If you are, you know, at working with that company and you'd like to sponsor us, we'd love to hear from you. Right, go yeah, I, yeah just, I'll just leave it at that. I had State Farm Insurance. Okay. All right. You know, okay, cool. All right. Now, Christmas, how about you? Yeah. What do you say? What would you say? Well, I tell them I used my survival skills to train a whale to be my personal chef for one month. I see. So oh, somewhere yeah. out there in the world right now, there's a whale that's giving yeah. you a dirty look right now. It's messed up. Uh, he can't hear me yeah. from here. Oh, okay. You know, all right. Well, there you go. All right. Well, now you had a chance to get to know our volunteers a little bit better based on their answers, right? So what I'd like oh, you to do on. now is stand behind the fence of the person that you support the most. It looks like you guys got that. That's support cool. Let's me. give it a support minute to settle out. All right. It's oh, insurance. They're, they're like they're pleading with you, everybody. It's neat. All right. Let's see. It looks like what? things are starting to settle out. All right. Well, let's have on. a look. Let's see how this worked out. I'm going to come up there and see, see what it looks like from here. All right, oh. here we go. All right, now Michael, always I'm bet on God. On your... Michael, I'm always need bet to on stay God. On your platform for me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you do that. You're gonna need to stay on always the platform. Always bet on God. I'm afraid of fights. That may be, but you know, listen, you agreed to play the game. Yes, it's true. Okay, yeah. all right. Let's see here. You scream. That's well, what I, I want to know. I see why you're trying to not stay on the platform, though. Looks like you don't have. What, what was that, Mr. Producer? I didn't catch that. I'd like to know. Was he at screaming? You could scream, or Michael. Are you good at yeah? Are you good at screaming, Michael? Well, you're, you're backing off screaming. the platform again. We're not, not going to. You know screaming. what? If you do, I should have mentioned this, but any attempts to escape will immediately disqualify you from all future events. All right, which I'm told oh, isn't fair, but life isn't fair at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. And also, denying my friends a chance to eat, and Michael's gone. Oh no! 
Well, no, I didn't even get to ask him the big, the important question if anybody knew where he was. Oh, that's Sorry, true. Here. Was the question? Okay. <laughs> they don't we're going to have to live with the risk, people. We're going to have to live with the risk. <laughs> All right. Now, as we move into our third round, when we came in today, you may <laughs> okay. have noticed in the lobby we have Patreon sign up. We also have this Buy Us a Coffee link, and that's because we are trying to raise money for more equipment to put on you know, more interactive experiences like this one for all of you. But we're also trying to raise money for the Bimini Shark Lab, or an organization that does important work to raise awareness about some of the environmental challenges of facing sharks in our oceans today, uh, as well as you know some of the horrific practices like shark finning. As a matter of fact, thanks to all of your support, we've been able to adopt our first shark. This shark right here that we named Sharky is, exists now somewhere in the real world. Right, which we think is really cool. All right, and uh, we'd like you to th you know to thank you for you know giving us a chance to do that, coming out to our shows, showing your support, and to those of you that subscribe to our YouTube channel, I just want to let you know we like you all just a little bit better than everybody else. We do. It's true. All right, let's move into our third round, everybody. All right, let's see. Let's start out with Christmas. Christmas, are you ready for your question? Sure, go for it. That's good because I'm I'm like absolutely not. Let's see here. What do we have for you? <laughs> All right. See, all right. Well, with the with the success of our show, my friends have been, you know, they've been eating really well this year, right? But during uh during all the problems we've been experiencing lately, you know, with all the technical problems, we're all reminded that the shark that's below you, Melvin, he's what you might call a stress eater. You know, when things are going bad, you know, he heads out looking for more food. And last night he went to this feeding frenzy, and he told me it was awesome. Said it was just, it was amazing. It was like the best time ever, right? There was tuna everywhere. You know, it was a good time. All right. So tell me, my, tell me, Christmas, what was like the best party you've ever been to? What made it so epic? The best party I've ever been to was one time I was stranded in a raft in the middle of the ocean and this whale came. And he wow. took me to a, <laughs> yeah, I had all the free tuna I could eat. It was great. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that. So he's friends with a whale, and he's not afraid to admit it. Or he's telling everybody the whole thing. He's got he a book talk, He spoke out English, soon. too. It, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Uh, you know, we, I, wish, I wish I had that kind of an imagination. That's, that, that's intense. Oh, All right, that cool. was real. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Now, Black Sands, how about you? What was the best party you've ever been to? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a party, but it was definitely the best group gathering I've I've ever been to. And this that was counts. back when Freddy Krueger movie series was out and we went to the State Theater in high school. And um, it was a very interactive movie where people in the audience were shouting and screaming at this at this uh, screen and what was going on. Wow. And, hey, look out. And no, Freddy. Oh, and we just had ourselves a fantastic time, like no issues, no problems, just interacting with the movie. It was the best oh, thing. That ever. sounds great. Oh, that's it cool. Was, was Man, cool. I've, I've been to movies like that where, where the crowd's yelling <laughs> at the screen and stuff. It makes it more intense. Very cool. All right, everybody. Well, we've got two volunteers left, but we only need one survivor, right? So this is important here. You know what? I don't feel like we know them well enough. I think we should ask them more questions. What do you think? <laughs> think we should ask them more questions? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm hearing, an, uh, like, Dot's not too sure. All right, because he's pretty sure that Black Sand's got it. Oh, it looks like it's pretty evenly split. I think we need to ask more questions to find out. Right. That's what we're going to do. All right. Let's see. Uh, now, let me ask you, uh, you know, Black Sands, just, you know, so I know here, tell me something. Why do you deserve to live more than Christmas? I deserve to live more than Christmas because I will be left behind to tell his story. Wow. Ooh. There you go. Christmas, Black Sands is willing to tell your story. All right. Is That's she amazing. willing to feed my kids? Oh. I am willing that, to feed your children. Because remember, God's got me. Okay? He wow. fed a whole population. <laughs> right. So the Almighty Three is loaves, back in Black Sands. Fish. You got some serious problems, Christmas. But you got children. Everybody remember that. All right? But tell me, aside from that, why do you deserve to live more than Black Sands? Um, because I can communicate with the whales. Mm. I think they have no a lot to teach us. All right, all right, there you go. So he's going to act as an interpreter for all whale kind, I see. All right, that's cool. All right, let's see. You know, I still, I, I'm looking at the audience, and it's it's looking like a pretty even split here. I'm having trouble telling. Let's let's, let's ask them this another way, question. Everybody. I think we're going to go with that. This way. All right, oh. let's see. Oh, you're directing them. That's smart. All right. There you go, right, because some just came in, so they don't know that they need to go to their right. Hey, exactly, that's true. <laughs> I need to help right, them. For those of you that just that's came in, right. you have the ability there to you go. your favorite volunteer. Molly, to your right, the sweet. Fence of the Sammy, one that you, the right. The one that you uh, support you the most there. All right, cool. Now, Christmas, let me ask you a question. 
Are you ready? <laughs> Let me give you another yes. one here. I'm out of, I'm out of. All right, cool. Let's see. All right. Well, it just so happened that you've inherited a huge estate from a relative you never knew you had. You go to check out the property, uh, and you know you stop for a bite to eat, and you hear the locals talking about your place, your estate, right? And you hear that it's it's, it's very haunted, extremely haunted, and was the site of some very um very extreme murder type situations. Right? It's really you know it's really bad, and you start getting worried. Tell me, what do you do? I sell tickets so people can spend the night. Wow, so he's going to make a profit, and he talks with whales. It's amazing. The talented yeah. volunteer we have. All right, now, Black Sands, how about you? What do you do in a situation like this? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, to own a haunted house has always been my dream, right? Like, who wouldn't want right. that? You know what I'm saying? So, you, you, so this is like, good news for you. That's great news. So I'd probably, like, move in and, like, have tours like daily you know what i mean i did not anticipate that people were actually going to like this question did not anticipate that (laughs) did i put a lot of thought into the questions and i think about how they're going to react and i try to put them on the spot but not only were they ready for it right but they actually enjoyed it we're going to have to try harder people we're going to have to dig deep all right black sand since you seem the most enthusiastic about it let's start with you are you ready for your question i'm ready all right Uh-oh. Hmm? Oh, my God. Freezing over. Sticking now, he's all set. Guy. Yeah, so he's all set. What are your plans Michael for Michael Forrest. Yes, Ms. Forrest. Yes, Ms. Producer, what's up? You, yeah, glitched out, unfortunately, the first end of the question. You glitched. Well, I'll oh. repeat the question. Okay. Sharky, my friend and co-host here, he's got a chemical in his eyes that works like antifreeze. It prevents his eyes from freezing over in extreme temperatures. So he's all set. But what are your plans for winter, Black Sands? Oh, my plans for winter are to get as much beauty rest I can and get ready so that I can do some skiing and some sledding with my girls, family, nice. and just snuggle up and chill, you know, and of course, there move into that haunted house. All right. Well, we, we, we see that <laughs> Black Sands has, you know, has winter covered. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, how about how about you, Christmas? What do you say? How are you going to spend winter? I'm going to spend winter the same way I spend it every year. Glad I don't live in the snow. Oh, there you go. oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Glad you don't live in the snow. You mind me asking where you come from? Uh, California. California. Oh, okay, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. No, it stays nice and warm. Okay, all right. I, you know, okay, we're going to have to, you know what? Everybody, we're all cold. I can go to the I can go to the and beach and wave to my whale friends. Ways, right? I mean, whale friends so don't far. think about Christmas. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody, so that's what we're gonna do. Right? You now, if you're coming in late, stand behind the fence of the volunteer that you support, or the volunteer guests that you support the most. It's looking pretty evenly split. <laughs> really, is this is a tough one. All right, let's take a look. Hey, get back over there. Hey, where are we going? Let, 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 <laughs> Oh, it's looking pretty reading. evenly split, people. My goodness. It really is. All right, no, gonna, not really. Determine? I, I think it is. I think it's looking pretty, no. pretty even no. here. Michael Forrest. Yeah. No. Michael Forrest. Yes, Mr. 10 Producer. over there. There's like 13 over I just did a head here. count. We have 14 to the left and 9 to the right from my position. Really? Position. Okay, wow. Math is on your side, Black Stands. That's excellent. All right. Well, like it math. looks like that we're going to be able to have, determine a winner right now. Uh, Christmas, have any like final words? You know, you want to say to the audience? Uh, I guess I'll be reunited with my whale friends now. Yeah, probably. Yeah, a whale might save you on the way yeah. out. If that's possible. Whale All right, song. we'll tell you what. Give it. us a good scream on the way out. That really helps. Does anybody know where you are right now? Uh, nobody knows where I'm at, so nobody's gonna come looking for you. That's excellent. Good Except news. for your that's whale. Wonderful. Except right, the whales, yeah, the yeah, they all, find some you. of them are waiting <laughs> over there for you. Yeah, there's one right up there. There's one. Of you. Oh, you're. Oh wait, you're with them. Yes. Look at those guys over there. Oh. All right, Mr. Producer, oh. you know what you have to do. All right, remember, okay. we all got to make a difference against organized crime. All right, go ahead. Let's see. <laughs> Hi, Christmas. Thanks for playing. See you next Hi. time. Mr. Producer, hit the switch. Um, there we go. Mr. Producer. Oh, the anticipation's the killing me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Might be having a technical problem. Let's find out here. All right, you know what it is? I, I probably do. have to kick it. Probably have to kick it. Uh-oh. All right, let's see here. Let's try kicking it. Ah! There we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was nice. That was a good quality scream. I like that. Thank you for All the right. assist. Black Sands, it looks like you're going to be our winner tonight. 
right? Yay, what we're going to do is we'd like to take your picture for our Twitter. So if you come on down here and join me, right? If you stand yeah. right over here, right, and face and face Fang, that'll help, right? There we face go. Face Fang. So just you know, like head up right over here, just so we get a little distance. Like come stand where I'm standing, right behind you. There you go. You're backing up. That's good. That's good. Oh, that should be nice. All right, now our audience yeah, can help. Good. Everybody gather behind Black Sand so you can get in the picture. <laughs> Start throwing up all the emojis that you can. All right, this way we get a nice picture for our Twitter. All right, here we go. All right, count down three, two, one. Yep, yeah, shark time. Shark time. Shark time. There we go. All right, very nice. Oh, that came out really good. That's a good picture. All right, everybody. Listen, I want to thank you for coming out tonight and, you know, and experiencing our show. And again, listen, I have to ask if you all, uh, you know, can take the time to go to altvr.com. On the very bottom, click on the support link to fill out a support ticket and ask them to help us fix our show. And say, you know, we, we, we love Shark Time, we like Shark Time, and please help Michael Forrest restore his show. Uh, you know, and they answer you, you're going to get a form letter. So just answer that. And after that, it doesn't matter what you say. Ask them how they're doing. Ask them what the weather's like. You know, just keep those tickets open until we get this show back on track. All right, we everybody? To I want to thank you so much for coming out. I want to show. thank you all for your support. My name is Michael Forrest. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, by the way, the next show that we're going to have is uh, this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. But keep an eye out. Sometimes we do these pop-up events to test things. So come on out and check us out. Keep an eye on that event calendar. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming, everybody. Rate see you show, later. Rate on. Show. Want them to rate the show? Oh, they can if you want. I leave that on. You know what? Uh, actually, uh, I'm glad you stopped me, though. You're going to get a friend request from Sharky sometime tonight. So keep a lookout for a firm request from the Sharky, and as soon as you accept that, you're going to receive your 12-piece world building kit. All right, and it's got like you know, it's got an aquarium in it. It's got animated fish. It's got like bubble sounds. It's a cool kit. I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, everybody. So thanks for coming out, everybody. All right, I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone. All right. All right. Here we go. Hey. I know, right?